Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. Oh, happy Friday, happy Monday, happy who knows Whatever what day. Whatever day you listen. So super exciting news. I texted you this earlier yes. and it, it even got better. Yes. So Mondays are very high downloads for us. Yes. Like listeners, or maybe they just open up their apps. I don't know what happens on Mondays, but we always see higher numbers than Fridays, even yeah. though we go live on Fridays. And today we were in the hundreds Woo! for a Monday. That's, I mean, and that's... That is our highest okay. download day ever. I was going to say, Didn't work the that might be the start of their weekend. Oh, so right, like, right. I'm going to have a cup of coffee and I'm going to listen to Clopin. Yes, I'm going to catch up. But I up. will say, because what did we do this weekend? We went out for St. Patrick's Day. That's mm-hmm. why I sound like yeah, this Yeah, I went right out now. twice <laughs> and you sound worse than me. We're both not so great today. <laughs> Um, oh, but gosh. you put up some stickers. I handed out a couple cards. Yes, yes. So we hopefully just we got chatted. some new We listeners. saw so many people. That was so much fun. People from where we used yeah. to work. Yeah. That was super fun. I, I had, had a, a hat time. and like something up to my chin. So I'd walk up to people yes. like, what's going on? And they would be like, who is this Ooh, old lady <laughs> <laughs> saying hello to me? I don't think anybody said that. Oh, gosh. But probably no, like, they were who like, this bitch? Yeah, they were like, I didn't recognize you with just your little, like the only thing that was showing was just my eyeballs and my nose, you know, because it was so uh, cold out. Yes, because people who don't live in the Midwest don't know that St. Patrick's Day is always freezing. Yeah. And then today, 50 degrees. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful out. Beautiful day. And they really put on, it's Shamrocks the yes. Fox. Amazing. It's cool. So much fun. A, the biggest tent I think I've ever been in. Yeah. And they had live bands all day, beer tent, drinks. And Parade. then they had the food trucks. Yes. We got pierogies. We got pizza. They yes. had spiked hot chocolate. There were funnel cakes. We got to uh, meet Sandy Dogs. Yes. Hi, I'm Sandy so and excited. Jim. Yay. <laughs> they're they're going to be uh, on the podcast here in a couple of weeks. I can't wait. So we got to visit with them. They don't have any veggie hot dogs even though jim said he'd make me one liar okay yeah no we're gonna talk about this so we had my husband drop us off and your husband picked us up yes we were very safe we were very safe so my husband drops us off right by the sandy dogs yep food truck we go over there we say hi this and that and i was like oh you guys don't have any veggie stuff huh because mayor's hungry and 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 what's his name jim i think right Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, yeah, we have a veggie dog. And she's like, don't say that. No, we don't. And I was like, you feed Meredith a all beef hot dog. We're going to be rushing her home because she's going to shit her pants. I'm like, you haven't eaten beef in probably, I mean, you did have your accidental burrito here and there. but yeah, Right. You know, you haven't eaten like a, a hot dog or and a And another piece friend steak. swears during a moment of weakness when we were drinking downtown that I had a pepperoni pizza and I'm arguing with her because I know I would have felt that the next day, but she says I did. So that's why well, you know, what's right. the difference between you having some meat or being hung over probably feels the same. But it probably does feel the same. So <laughs> it was double. I feel like I'm still hung over today. Oh no. <laughs> uh, so I thought I was fine. I was great. You know, I feel like even though I didn't drink a lot of water on Saturday, I still felt great. Steve picked us up. I definitely wasn't going to drive. I had a couple, right? right? Right. Nothing crazy. I get up on Sunday. I'm like, eh, nah, no, we're going to be lazy. (laughs) I kept telling Steve all day, no, I'm going to, you know, have this one. I was making like grilled cheese. I'm going to have this. I'm going to rest my stomach. Yeah. And I'm going to go for a run. Yeah. And then I made like a baked potato with like chili, vegan chili. You doing nothing Yeah, and with some cheese. I'm like, no, I'm going to rest my stomach and then I'm going to run. It was seven o'clock. I'm like, I ain't running. I ain't running. I'm rested. I didn't do anything on Sunday. (laughs) Nothing. I made corned beef and cabbage on Sunday. Oh, yes. that was it. Yes. So that that was the most I did that day. <laughs> and I loaded, unloaded and loaded the dishwasher because. I mean, that's at least something you, you feel accomplished that. then for <laughs> yeah. the day, right? You unload the dishwasher, you go back, you watch a movie, yeah. you maybe do a dish. Well, then I made wash corned it. beef and cabbage, so then I had to load all those dishes right, up into right. the Right, right. Yeah, definitely accomplished. <laughs> So today I woke up, I felt great. I was fine. Yeah. And um, used the washroom, had my coffee. And I was like, I'm going to go for a run. This is great. So I didn't feel tired, even though a text woke me up, woke me up at five in the morning, which was fine because yeah. then I was able to have a full morning before logging yeah. in. It was great. And so I'm running down my road that I always run. I have a five mile loop that I've talked about a million times. And I know that when we have frozen ground to be real careful, yeah. careful, right? Like, you know, the the plow trucks kind of push the 
rocks up. Right. So you kind of have like divots on the side of the road until they come through again and they fix them and flatten yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. They actually just flattened them a few weeks ago. They added more rock, you know, to the sides of the roads. But then and, we had more snow. And, but we had more snow yeah. and then the plow trucks come and they move the rocks again. So you got piles of rocks. You have cars that probably kind of went off to the side yeah. on a softer day. Yeah. So I knew it was frozen because we had a super cold weekend. Super cold weekend. So I'm like, okay, be careful. I'm doing my run. I trip a little bit with my left foot because I must have been a little more tired or hungover <laughs> than I thought. And so I, I was a little bit tired. So I was like, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I keep running. All of a sudden, my left foot hits one of these like piles of rocks. Oh, no. And they didn't, it didn't go you anywhere. It down. was like hitting <laughs> ice. Like freaking, I know what the Titanic felt like, oh, right? God. Like hitting an iceberg. I hit it with my left foot and I'm like, Fuck. Like immediately I knew I was going down. There was cars coming because oh it was during God. the time of school Yeah, right next to me. So I both feet stopped because my left oh. foot was leading. I fall forward and I'm like, oh fuck, that's going to hurt. It totally did. And how embarrassing. And then I, ro- the but then I like, I'm really good at this. I'm really, really good at this. I rolled to the left. If you can think about it, right. Cause I was going against traffic. I rolled on my back to the left, hopped up and kept running. Oh my God. Cause I was like, no one needs to stop for me. I'm totally yeah, fine. Yeah. And as I'm running, I'm feeling my pant legs get warm from I, you texted us. <laughs> from blood you're like i might need stitches but i'm gonna make it home <laughs> oh, i know that sounds so gross but i was like oh my god so i'm like all right i better assess the situation yeah. real quick so i go to pull up both pant legs red blood oh my god so it, they're not bad it's because i hit the bones right like i have bony skinny legs you yeah. know like i hit my kneecaps and i hit my left shin the left shin is really Ooh. bad and so it's just because you know it's like a head wound right like my mom said you know when you hit your forehead or like when, when kids hit their forehead yes. and you just like oh, all you see is blood yes. and you know maybe they only need like a couple stitches or whatever but it's because right. it's so thin and i hit it right where everything is thin the skin is thin so it has not stopped they have not stopped i've went through like 20 band-aids by i know now. and then it was you 10 were around like, lunchtime and now it's about 20 driving and you send us a picture of your pants <laughs> <laughs> your pants bled bleeding. through my pants at a store <laughs> i walk a store for less than two hours i get back in my car i'm like what is that feeling and why am i sticky oh yeah right through the band-aids Just stuck to your scabs <laughs> And while we were there, we were noticing so many different people and how they move through the crowd because there were so many yes. people there in the tent. Yes. Right? So and many we looked people. at each other and we said, we are going to talk about people <laughs> watching and how different people get through these crowds, right? Because I'm a touchy feely person. You are, and I'm not. Yeah. Like, I don't want to touch any part. And you had a backpack on. Oh, that's the worst. So explain how you, okay, so everyone picture this <laughs> big white tent, closed walls. Cause yes. they got to keep us warm. Cause it was right. 18 out. Right. So we had the heat going. Yes. We were all in there. I'm um, thousands of people. Just There's a couple this. picnic tables, which was the yeah. worst, you know, yeah. like uh, right when you entered, right when you enter yeah. and like kind of on the outside yes. of where you would walk through, but still and in then the it tent. was standing room only all standing the way up only. to the stage. Right. Yeah. And there was bands, yes. real good bands yeah. all, all night long, all day long. And I had the great idea of putting a bag of wine in my backpack. Brilliant idea, <laughs> except for when you have to get through a crowd. Because uh, yeah. then I'm like, I'm not very slender either way, whether I go side. No one is slender when there's a thousand people in a white tent, and okay? you have a backpack on, you can't turn to the side. You're just hitting people with yeah. your backpack. <laughs> but I'm always like, try to touch people on the back. Like, you hey, do. I'm coming through. Yep. You know, put both my hands on their shoulder. Not like caress you're not giving them like a massage but you do kind of do like a little pat i noticed i'm like or you'll kind of like touch their arm like hey walking through through." and every single person looks back like whoa okay you know she's cool she's cool and then how many times did i get i saw somebody i knew like you and bestie are leading the pack right right and i would see somebody i knew so i'd stop and i start talking (laughs) we lost you for like 25 minutes. You didn't lose me. I, I no, stopped. No, no, we lost and you. I was there the whole time. So Bessie and I are at the front <laughs> dancing, drinking, having fun. I saw a couple of friends up there I said hello yeah. to. They all look fantastic. Yeah. Uh, for being 39 and uh and and all of a sudden i and she's not even like oh she's dead and i go where's Cass?" she's like i'm not sure and then i was like i'll text her where you at you know so i text you 
And then like five, 10 minutes later, I look at her again. I'm like, where's Cass? She's like, I'm not sure. And then, then she's concerned. Like, wait, you just asked me twice. I'm like, do you think she like Irish goodbye to us no, on St. Patrick's no, Day? I was just talking I'm like, all right, let me try and call her. <laughs> Nothing. No. I'm looking at the I text. Can't hear my you phone know, I don't get there. read receipts from you. So it still says, where are you at? I'm talking to myself. So then our friends that we met up with. They had come from like the bathrooms or drinks or whatever. And they looked at us. They were like, we didn't see her. And I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. Great. She yeah. left. Yeah. So we walk back all the way back to the tent. <laughs> didn't find you. I'm like, well, while I'm here, I use the bathroom. Going to grab a snack. Just grab a retrace drink. Retrace your steps. And then I start walking back again. Now, this has been like 25 minutes. It's like losing a child. Okay. <laughs> I see you laughing with someone on the right hand side. I'm like, there she is. I walked right up and uh, hugged you. I'm like, I thought I lost you. I saw a good friend that I hadn't seen in a few years. Oh, so, that know, was I great. She was cool. She was up. very cool. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. Hi, hi Kim. <laughs> so cool. I ran into a lot of people while we were there. Yeah. yeah, we did. It was great. Yeah. And it was nice over there because they were kind of up against the wall and there was a little bit of room around them. Yeah. You know, yeah, for so sure. I was like, yeah, I'm going to hang I out I feel here. like we found like a nice little yeah. spot where we didn't really get we actually went to a couple places downtown. Like we decided to leave the tent for a little bit yes. and go check out what was going on downtown yes. in the bars. And we had that one drink Yeah, and it was like, we it couldn't eat. It was, much. oh my gosh, we were like hot and there was yeah. too many people yeah. and people were pretty drunk at that point where the bartenders Dude, were cutting them those off. Those bartenders were hilarious. All right, we're going to talk about that. At Buddy Z's. Yes. The bartenders were hilarious. They were freaking awesome. Because you know they had like... If you've ever bartended, you know St. Patrick's Day is like, oh my God, yeah. it is a headache. Yep. You're working probably two doubles Friday and Saturday yep. or Saturday and Sunday, you know. Sunday's a little calmer, but um and she <laughs> she comes up to this guy like, What do you need? And you know, he asks for like a beer or something, and she goes, Okay, do you have a tab open? And he's like, yeah, put it under the name blah blah blah, and she's like, "You get water." And yeah, and she did. <laughs> yep, I was laughing so hard. I think she did end up giving him a beer, but then I she think... ran his card and had him sign it. But by the time he tried to put a tip on it, Dude, did you see the receipt? It was, it was wet, wet and crumpled. Oh my and, gosh! Yeah. I hope she added a good. I was going to say, bucks. just put twenty bucks on there. <laughs> Like, I get it. Yeah, technically it's stealing. I would never, like, <laughs> condone somebody stealing, but she fucking deserved that $20. Bessie and I were at a bar in Libertyville many years ago for St. Patrick's Day. I remember we went. They have some great Irish bars there. And I accidentally left my card. Oh, God. We got into the card. I'm just like, oh, my God. And so I was like, we got to go back in. So we had to go back in for me to get my card. And as she was grabbing my card for me to sign it, I looked up at the top and it said, any cards left? a $20 tip will be added yeah. on. Like it, it was like a serious sign. They'll it wasn't a, like one yeah. of those meme joke right, ones. Because they will put 20 bucks on you and then run up a hundred dollar tab and then you leave without your card and they go to close it out at the end of the night. Yeah. And they don't even get a tip. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm putting 20 bucks yeah. on it. <laughs> yep. I dealt with your drunk ass. Yeah. So I feel like having the sign up there made it okay for them yeah, to do that. But luckily probably. they're like, it's posted in our rules. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Um, go back to people walking. Yeah. So you are a toucher. I am not. Yeah. But I also noticed that there were other people there that were even worse than me. Yeah. Like, so I would, I would kind of go through, I would just say, excuse me, like, you know, right. and then just kind of make it through. You, you had to touch them. Right. Because right. There, were, there were so many there were people. There so many people. But I was noticing other people that would go through and they'd be like, excuse me, excuse like they were going to try and part the seats yeah not happening just you go just, just go like you know and then they there was one guy that was I, I it was probably like a couple or something and he was walking through he's like excuse me excuse me excuse me no one's gonna move no. for you just go you just gotta just go through that's why like even one hand on each dude and i part them yeah and i go coming through yep <laughs> yep and they go oh okay and they turn yeah. and they let us go through and then they turn right back you yeah. know <laughs> you know what else i noticed and this is just, I'm sure it's just because you don't want to be face to face with the person. <laughs> but when you go past people, you make sure you turn your back your to, butt their, to, them. to their back. <laughs> yeah. So you're actually like touching butts <laughs> as you go through. Because how awkward would that be? You go past people facing them. Facing them. Think about and that. And your gut and your boobs and your mustaches are touching. Or like in your nose is like kind of grazed <laughs> because there were so many people. <laughs> how can't awkward back up would that be? <laughs> We are talking about it that I am like Bessie is not 
super short, right? And right. I'm five eight. I'm the short. And our friend Bud our was there. Yeah. And he's what, seven three? I yeah. Something. <laughs> I don't know, Bud. How and we tall were, are you? <laughs> and we were talking about how he didn't look that tall compared no. to so many other people yes. that were in that town. They were very standing tall on people. bricks. What were they doing? It's because we were all raised in McHenry County. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the water. We grow big and tall around yeah, here. Yeah, we do. We do. We need a big and tall around here. There's a lot of short panted pants walking around. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that all the bartenders, all the truck, food trucks were so cool. Yeah. You know why we think they're cool is because we're cool. It's all about okay. our attitude. Right. Right. Have your drink order ready. Don't make them run back and forth. That's Close true. out your tab. Try to pay cash. I got cash as soon as we got there. Yeah. You know, and, you know, make their job easier on them. Yeah. You know? So. That's true. That's yeah. very true. And don't get too drunk, but everybody does. Everybody does. What about the guys with the megaphone at the parade? Okay, that was super funny. So we went to a parade on Saturday morning. We, I mean, we did this all day. We did it. We were out. I went out Friday night, too, with my family. It was so, so fun. We were out from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. Yeah, not on bad. Saturday. You know, not we bad. We did good. And we had day Ditties. drinking. We yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. We really did. We got pretty thick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but we went to a parade on Saturday yes. morning. And... Um, there was someone with a megaphone yes. and they were funny, but, but the one time <laughs> they were a little racist, they sometimes. were a little bit, <laughs> he had a nice Indian or an accent from India, yes. I guess I should say. And I, we, we were like, like in seven 11. Oh and stuff. Like, gosh. He's like megaphoning at the cop out there in yeah. the street. Thank I you for like, your service. Oh, <laughs> because it's like. In in McHenry, the bars probably usually open around noon on the weekends, yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. Maybe ten if they like serve breakfast, whatever. But St. Patrick's Day weekend is like a free for all. You can drink in the streets. Like they just make it as crazy as possible. Yeah. So the bars probably opened up at like seven AM that day, right? Yeah. Because people want to get good spots for the parade. They want to park for the parade. So they opened up the bars. Yeah. These kids, uh, I call them kids because they gotta be maybe 21, 22, yeah. 23, maybe. They were like, I didn't, I mean, not that I expected to because there's thousands of people, but I did not see those kids the rest of the day. I think they went home after the parade. I think oh. they were pretty crunked up. Yeah, maybe. That. You start with a Bloody Mary and a beer in the morning. Yeah. Your, your day's done by noon. I was wondering, because do you have steps on your phone? I was wondering how many steps we did that day. Yeah, I'll have to look. Yeah. I bet, I bet we did like, we probably did a good two miles, yep. right? Don't you think? And I actually wore heels. Yeah, you did. Boots. Boots. Yeah. Heel, the wider. They yeah. were the wider heel. Yeah. But I was pretty, like the next morning I was like, oh, my calves were yeah. feeling good. Well, of course, you know, I was all dehydrated when I went to bed. So I woke up a okay. thousand times with you leg cramps. You need to drink water. <laughs> you carry water with you in your wine backpack. You had a water in there. I had three waters You had three there. waters in there. You and didn't, I didn't drink, drink any, any of them. <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? It's not funny. It is funny. So then I slept on the couch because it's easier for me to like get up quick if I have. Like, although now we have those really the recliner and it like. <laughs> so I'm laying on the recliner and I'm like, oh, God, I have a leg cramp. And it's like trying to put it down and it's just <laughs> all slow going on. I'm like, oh, my God, you know. Yeah. All right, so we're going to just learn a little bit. Ooh, what are we learning about today? People watching. Oh, Lord. So I was like, you know, what does people watching actually mean? And the first thing that came up is the word voyeur. <laughs> voyeur? <laughs> What's voyeur? It came into English in the 20th century, and it's a French word for voy, meaning see. But they call them voyeurs. Okay. So it's V-O-Y-E-U-R. Okay. But a voyeur is someone who peeps, spies on other oh. people, watching them well. do things they probably don't want to be seen. Uh, someone who likes to hear stories about strangers' private lives. Oh. <laughs> you can I, Google this. You can Google this. We don't want to take it that far. <laughs> you know, we're just at the grocery store, yeah. people watching. And the reason why I looked that up is because I am a people watcher. I know my surroundings at all times, yeah. where Steve is not. Yeah. Like, he will walk right into somebody or right right in front of someone with their cart if he sees something. It's not like he's doing it on purpose. He's not trying to get there he before that person. He just doesn't around him. Yeah. Yeah. He's focused on what he wants. Like, he'll just leave a cart in the middle of anywhere. Right. Like, I'm going to leave it here because I got to go grab exactly. something over there. And I'm like, oh, my God. That is my exact point. <laughs> <laughs> 
poor Steve. We still love you. <laughs> no, seriously. He keeps saying, man, will you show me how to download your podcast? No. I want to be able to listen to it. I'm like, no. sure, I'll do that next week for you. I got to find the episodes that we don't talk about our Steve husbands. Steve and Johnny and our bestie, <laughs> no husbands allowed. <laughs> So the next one is, what is the point of people watching or crowd watching? To get good stories for our it's podcast. It's the act of obs- <laughs> observing people and their interactions as a subconscious doing. Julia, Steve, and I went out to dinner on Friday, and there was a big group of people. And so we were there for an hour, right? Oh, my arm hurts from falling. I just realized <laughs> that. I lifted it up, and I was like, oh, is that sore? You were so focused on your knees. Oh, my your God. Ooh, knees. that's really, I feel like I, like, was lifting heavy weights. Anyways. Oh my, isn't that your shoulder you had surgery no, on, too? No, it's this one, thank oh, goodness. Good. yeah. Okay. I rolled left, good so job. it's my left. I'm holding it out for you as I'm talking, because I am <laughs> I talk with my hands, but anyways. <laughs> so we went out to eat on Friday night, the three of us. Yeah. And it was, you're, you're there for about an hour, and it's quiet. And then this big group table of people, they kind of get a little louder. They kind of get a little louder. I, something was wrong with one of their dishes or dinners. And I saw him lift his plate and it wasn't, I don't think it was their wait, waitress server. or server. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he goes, lady, lady. Oh my and so God. I don't, I don't know if they were drinking, if they were just getting rambunctious, if they just, you know, do that. Cause I've been with families that like, they all it's take so turns complaining. Yeah. And so she like kind of looked over and he was like, I don't know what they said. I, Cause it was a little bit f- far away. But as we start walking to the car, cause they were still there. Julia's like, yeah, oh, it was getting a little loud. Huh? I'm like, yeah. And Steve's like, what do you mean? Oh my God. What do you mean? I wasn't even paying attention. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> He's in his own world. So is people watching healthy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Because you learn how not to act in public sometimes. It could improve your personal relationships by improving your understanding of people in general. Yeah. And why they do what they do. Yeah. People watching gives you more empathy for other people and their situations. My husband needs to people watch. Just gives me gossip. Yeah. It will then improve your relationships by by reducing conflict and misunderstandings. Okay. So people watch. Not in a creepy voyeur way. No. Is it voyeur, voyeur? I don't know. Don't be looking in people's windows or nothing. I, yeah, no, don't do that. Make you sure they know you're watching them. Yeah, only in public. And then there, another question was, what do you do when you're observing people, but then they turn around and they're observing you and how to react you to that? You start picking your nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was a, a, like a private detective said, if you think they're on to you, just start picking your nose because nobody wants to look at that awkwardness, yeah. you yeah. know, like they'll be like, Oh, what a fucking weirdo. What's that guy doing? You know? And then they'll just go about their business. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't look at me, Cass. I'm picking my nose. <laughs> How to be a successful people watcher. Decide the parameters of your people watching. It doesn't have to be creepy ish. No, I do it all day long. I mean, I'm, I'm in a grocery store. So I people watch all day long. I watch people on these mark carts almost knock shit over. <laughs> and I'm thinking, you drove here in, mm-hmm, a, in mm-hmm. an automobile, you know, and you can't, you can't make that three-point turn right there <laughs> <laughs> with the basket on the front, you know. I just, I'm always watching people and they're, oh gosh, right now, everybody, you know, because you talk to yourself all the time, right? Yeah. People talk to themselves all the time. Yep. Those are the conversations I like to hear. What are these people saying to themselves? Yeah. Right now it's all about prices. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh, I can't believe. Oh my God, a loaf of bread is five dollars. Yep. Oh my God. Finally the eggs, the eggs, the prices of the eggs went down, you know. <laughs> That's funny that you say that. I went shopping on Sunday yeah. and I was standing in front of the eggs because I knew I had a coupon. So I was like, oh, looking at my little coupon thing, you know, and I'm going through and a person stood right next to me. And I don't know if he was just saying it to himself or to me. He was like, Oh, now I got to make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> like would he have said that if I was standing there, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. People and he just weird. had a big sigh and like looking at the eggs. Yeah. Like he was like watching a movie, like trying to figure it all I out. I feel like we're in public so much. It almost becomes our private territory. Yes. Right? It's so where true. we don't realize the people around us and yeah. the things going on. And, uh, that's one thing that like, I always look at people 
And I wonder what their life is like. Yeah. Is that weird? I don't know. You know, like no, you I see a mom and some kids and it's like, is she a single mom? And like her kids are so well behaved. What's their home life like? Like, yeah. does she have fun with them all the time or is she just super strict with them? Right. You know, That's like what you said I was. I know. <laughs> yeah. You and Bessie had a conversation about it. Do you think she just yells at them and that's why her kids are so good? <laughs> Bitches. Hey, but we told you we had that conversation, so you can't be mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> we were like, oh, she probably just goes home and beats them all. <laughs> no, don't Do say that dishes. on here. <laughs> Do those dishes right now. You better make sure your laundry's done. <laughs> Like a drill sergeant. Oh, that's so funny. Practice naturalistic observation, not intrusive nosiness. I'm I'm think I'm on the verge of nosiness. I was gonna say that's a fine line. Yeah, it, I'm definitely over <laughs> that line. Especially when I just said I like listening to people <laughs> talk to themselves. I'm super nosy. So I was working on Friday in stores. Yeah. I like to visit stores on Fridays. I was actually in them today, too. It's so too. busy on Friday. I, I love it, Fridays. though. See, and I love it. I hate I it. I love Fridays. I can't get anything done. People stand in my way. Yeah, right? And then they're like, true. do you know where this is? And I'm like, I don't work here. <laughs> Get out of my That's way. That's exactly what I said. So I was fixing like a little set space and making sure that it looked good. And I could sense that someone was behind me. And then I closed the doors. You know, they have the cooler doors. Right. And he was standing right behind me. So I was like, oh, oh, am I in your way? And he was like, no. So I see the salad bar here. See, he thought I worked there, oh. right? I see the salad bar here. Where are their pre-made salads? Oh. And I'm like, oh, I'm not familiar with this store. I really don't work this store, but I'll help you find it. No, 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 no. He puts his hand his hand in my face. You don't have to worry. I think I'll probably just get a salad bar. I'm like, oh, okay, that's okay. fine. Yeah. So I'm working again, and I can still hear him talking, and I'm not 100% sure if he's talking to me or just talking. Right. And so he was like, huh, where's the containers? <laughs> Huh. Well, this lettuce looks pretty good. And I think he was talking to me sort of. Oh, good. Like he was hoping you would hear calling over the salad bar to me. So I kept looking, like, is he talking to me? No. Okay, he's not talking to me. So I, you know, I'm I'm doing some tags or whatever, you know? Yeah. And then he was like, I heard him say, Well, I, do, I can't seem to get this apart. And I'm like, I look again, and then he's talking to somebody else who then helps him pull a salad container apart. <laughs> I'm like, something's wrong with this guy. There's got to be something wrong with this guy, right? Which is fine. That What do we call it? The incompetence, but it's got another word in front I, of it. I don't know. You know what it is. And then he was like. We all know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm so into this story right now that I can't think of what you're saying. <laughs> Okay, keep going. Well, no, because then, and then it just continues. Like, I could probably tell you without looking at his salad what he put what on he it put on it oh, oh wow spinach looks fresh these tomatoes look good yeah yeah <laughs> Ooh, no no onions no no, no onions can't you don't you want just, that bad breath no nope, no no onions got to go back to work after this and i'm just like <laughs> what, what is going on and i mean and because i'm so people person i kept looking back i did not get yeah. anything done and he yeah. was probably standing there for 10 minutes oh that's so funny what's dressing what's dressing oh, are we gonna God, do they here all look so i'm like good. balsamic <laughs> Just shut it. <laughs> oh, man. It was crazy. I like the people that quietly stand behind you forever yeah. and never say anything. Yeah. There's So there's two types. Either they'll stand there forever and never say anything until you're done doing you're what like, oh, you're doing. Oh, oh, yes. yeah. And I, I always tell them, like, just tell me to move, you know? Yeah. I would never do that. I'm like, I can tell. Yeah. Or you have the ones that rudely reach. Yes past your face yes <laughs> and, gra- and it's like oh well say excuse me yes you know? <laughs> or the ones that put the cell phones in your face oh god can you yeah. tell me where this is yeah that's almost every day yeah every day so the next one is uh remain unobtrusive so do i have Don't to like in their hide? way like do i have to hide behind like what does obtrusive mean <laughs> i feel like that means like you're in their way yeah yeah like make sure if you're staring <laughs> basically is what we're talking about people staring you know, just remain like, you know. Okay. So don't just stare. Like, keep your eyes. Like, when you're driving, you're supposed to check your rear view, then your speedometer, then the road. Well, what I'm thinking mirror. is, like our secret squirrel, you move some of the yeah. toilet paper on the bottom shelf, and you get in there oh. on the shelf, <laughs> and then you cover yourself, and then you just leave an itty-bitty little oh, crack God. in between the toilet paper, and you watch the person oh, you want to watch. I would say that's kind of out of their way. 
Unless they come and grab the toilet paper that's hiding your body. Does that work? Oh, or that's no? so funny. Uh, watch with good intent. Yeah. So I don't know that people watching is good intent unless well, unless you're not like staring like because there's you can tell that there's maybe an issue or right or or they're doing something to be watched yeah like if they're just not being themselves naturally you know and not speaking to you about balsamic and tomatoes yeah. and spinach then yeah, i would say that you're watching with good intent you're just kind of yeah. observing I'm i guess a, is what i it observe is. every day that's like you know when you're stuck at the airport yeah. And you kind of just stare off and you disassociate and you just space out. Yeah. And then pe- like, and you're staring past the people, but then they catch your eyes. They think you're looking at them. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, it shakes you out of it. And you're like, oh no. Okay. I'll look over this. Yes. Then. <laughs> yes. This is the last one. Know how to react if the observed observes back. Yeah. I think I, I smile. Hi. So I think <laughs> after COVID. Yeah. I, remember posting something on my personal page that people don't look away anymore. No. So you're, you're looking at someone or you go, you kind of scan the room and someone's looking at you. So you stop to look at them and they don't look away anymore. Yeah. What, when did that start? Um, Like usually you kind of just go up and you just keep, then you keep moving your eyes. Like, but I don't, I don't understand I don't where that came eyes. from. I don't lock eyes. They do. And then you like right. go to keep scanning and then, then you go I, back and they're yeah. still looking at no, you. I don't go back that way. I will completely turn around to avoid that. So that would be, <laughs> they would be the people that are creepier ish yes. with the intent they're to make you uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. that's strange, but I, I've noticed it more and more. Yeah. I don't know. People are weird. <laughs> I like watching people cause they're fucking weird. <laughs> Go do some people watching. Go watch some people. And I hope everybody had a good, safe St. Patrick's yes. Day. Yes. What's the next holiday coming up? Jen? But yes, Easter is coming up. I so very interested to see that all the carts are the same. We'll have to chat about yes. that. All yeah. the carts. Everybody ham, will potatoes. have ham. Yep. Ham. All that fun stuff. Hammy ham. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Have a good week. And all thank right. you for all the downloads and yes. for listening and SOSing our stuff. Welcome, Share new our listeners. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. Talk to you next week. Bye. This podcast is brought to you by Name Tag Productions, LLC. Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all on this together, we might as well make it fun.